Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Ken Ken to get to place where we bring you all things Epic Seven. With the Moonlight Balance Patch coming in closer, we were greeted with the last Moonlight Hero that witnessed the history of the Big Tree. Will she shift the medal like her predecessor, or will she trembles under the shade? Let us welcome Apocalypse Ravi. We will be discussing ML Ravi's skill set. The materials needed and where to get them, as well as a discussion on what I think would be suitable for her carrying and a step for the equipment. Now, before we begin, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe to my channel, as this will help me continue to bring this channel to life. Now, on to the character. Emil Ravi is a Cancer Dark Warrior, so in order to upgrade her skill trees and awakening, you will be needing these materials below. The first one is Special Alarm Clock. This can be commonly found in normal Chapter 2 and Chapter 6, and some in Chapter 9 and 10. You will need this material for your 5th Potential Awakening specifically. The second material you need is Baby Mouth Insignia. This will be used for your skill enhancement, and you can farm for this in normal Chapter 3, 4 and 7. As for the Rare Catalyst, you will need to go to the World Difficulty Chapter 10-4. The Rare Catalyst is called the Heart of the Hypocrisy. This will be required for both your last skill enhancement and the 6th potential awakening. It has been some time since ML Ravi released and the general consensus seems to say that she is underperforming her role as she is severely lacking in damage to execute the mechanics in her S3. However, in my opinion, she feels more of a role of an off-tank survival support for resurrection. There is an indication from the design that the developer is intended to shift the matter of Arena to a slower pace, and thus ML Ravi is born. She is here to survive, to sustain, to provide an option for the players who don't have 250 speed team to compete in the higher rank Arena. ML Ravi is designed to be the last one standing last hope of the dying team where she manages to execute an enemy to rest an ally, the player will still have a chance to repel. We first begin with her basics. Her first skill, very much like her regular version, has her attack an enemy and recover HP based on 30% of her damage it absorbed. With 2 bars of soul burn, the damage scaling is increased by 80%, dealing a gigantic amount of damage to a single target. Just like regular Ravi, by using this skill, she will gain Fighting Spirit by an amount of 20. But unlike Ravi, ML Ravi's damage scale off HP. So the higher HP he has, the more damage he will deal. Her second skill is a passive that bulks up both her defensive and offensive capability. And then Ravi comes with a gauge, similar to Ravi that is called Fighting Spirit. With every 10 Fighting Spirit, it will fill up a bar of the gauge with a maximum of 10 bars. This passive gives ML Ravi 5% critical chance with every 20 Fighting Spirit she has. So at maximum, ML Ravi will have a bonus 25% critical chance, giving her more leeway to build critical damage. Secondly, whenever ML Ravi got hit, she will recover 8% of her maximum HP in exchange of decreasing one bar of Fighting Spirit, essentially giving her an innate damage reduction when taking high burst damage, and heal off a big chunk if being hit by low damage. From that day onward, players remember the terror of being dominated by big chunky tanks, and the shame of being held captive by a 20 minute arena run. Then we come off to her ultimate. Truth be told, for a Moonlight hero, Apocalypse Ravi's ultimate feels a little bit lacking, not in terms of mechanics or effect, but in terms of numbers. With damage skills of her health, Ravi can increase this skill damage by building HP. When you successfully defeat the target with this skill, ML Ravi can randomly revise an ally with 10% of his HP, while also granting skill nullifier, making it so the revived target won't die off immediately in the next attack. This skill has a 5 turn cooldown down to 4 turn after leveling, while also granting 30 fighting spirit after use. Through reviewing her skill, we can see Apocalypse Ravi and Vanilla Ravi shares a very similar trait. Both being selfish in their own rights, but is someone who doesn't need a lot of support from healers. By following her trait, 
It is a very simple task if you want to build Ravi, right? You can build 3 health set onto her to bolster her tankiness, with percentage HP in all equipment main stat to boot it up to extreme. You can run this if you are sure the enemy will focus her as the main target, like Wyvern 11, or there's a light hero in the arena to make use of enemy AI. If you want to balance out the stat, you can also go for speed boots so it can gain fighting spirit faster, which is a viable option because her normal attack not only gives you 20 fighting spirit, but recovers HP as well. Offensively, you can also consider critical damage for her necklace because the massive 25% crit chance her passive gives off. Other than that, a counter set combo with health is also viable because the countering set nets you fighting spirit, making sure the passive heal always active while also recovering some HP through lifesteal off turn. Though it is a little too RNG reliant for my liking. You can opt for HP boot, attack ring, and HP necklace to make use of the counter attack or speed boot, attack ring, crit damage necklace for a more offensive approach. Either way, mix and match this option to your preference. As for artifact, I feel like there isn't a lot of option for Elnor Ravi, or warriors in general to use. You can choose the rundown, which speeds up her turn by giving her combat readiness whenever she's hit when her HP is under the 75%, or Serious Sight that gives her bonus attack and lifesteal when her HP is below 50%. To put her tankiness further, you can give her Sword of Azera that gives her 30% damage mitigation when taking hits from boss or elite monster like Wither. But if you're taking her to the arena, you can try using Proof of Valor that is only available in Guild Shop. That will give her 30% damage reduction on the first hit and slowly reduce down to a minimum of 15% with each subsequent hit. Apocalypse Ravi despite some shortcoming, is actually a very interesting character design-wise. Personally, I like a hero that can stand on their own, giving me the security of knowing that they will not go down anytime soon, and give me some room for error, a trait which regular Ravi, Ravi gives, and so does this Moonlight version of her. She may not stand out like the likes of ML Araminta or ML Bao, but she will definitely hold her ground in my heart. And with that comes to an end to my guide to this ferocious moonlight ravioli. Hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Love ya.